Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Pokemon Swoosh. Last time we uh, visited the Stone Side mural, it got destroyed, some story stuff happened, and then I tried to get through this area, Glimwood Tangle, to get to the next town, which is called um, Balanlay or Balanlee. Balanlea. That place. Um, but this proved tr pretty tricky, mostly because of these mushroom guys. Not, not these mushroom guys, the, um, the other mushroom guys. <laughs> uh, what are they called? Is there a search button? No, no, that, that would just be sensible. I don't know how I would search by name, I don't know what the name is, but, you know, it'd still be good to have. Search for stuff that's in this area, maybe. Impotim, Patena, Hatram, Salandit, Sudawudu. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. This one, Chinotic. Yeah, I found one of these. Um, and they're really hard to catch, apparently. Uh, switch languages? Uh, the button doesn't do anything. At least I can switch languages by pressing R, but it's not doing anything. But yeah, these guys, they have, um, Sleep Powder, and the other three moves all heal them. Or at least the one I was fighting. Like, all of the other moves they had was healing, so... It was real hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really hard to catch one, because they're just constantly healing up. Uh... Okay, so there's like a double battle over there. TM24 Snore. The attack can only be used can be used only if the user is asleep. The harsh noise may also make the target flinch. Oh, interesting. I don't know why I'd ever use it because it's so situational, but I imagine it does a decent amount of damage. And it's a good counter against things like sleep powder. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> oh, daring couple, Robert and Jacqueline. I think she was still flirting with me. Ninetales and Curlia. Uh, Curlia's psychic, I think? I think? Curlia's trace. Curlia's flash fire. Oh, I see. You, you copy the ability from someone else, I guess. Uh, let's liquidate Ninetales and... Uh, bite? Curlia? I don't know what Curlia's type is yet, apparently. I just haven't fought one yet. And to use liquidation. It's super effective, because Ninetales is fire type. Actually, is there, like, an Alolan Ninetales that's ice type? Because it's the Lolan Vulpix, which is. I don't know if it evolves. Flinched and couldn't move. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's try a Suck Punch. And... Fire Fang. Oh, that's all it took. Carrots grew to level 31. Take that daring couple. A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's something there. Gimme. Two hyper potions. My goodness. Uh, I can see something over there, too. Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. You were challenged by Madame Judy. Or Madame Judy? Sent out in DD. Uh, well, it's, it's a... It's a Pokémon. Uh, I'll try liquidation? I... I can't tell what type pretty much anything is by looking at it. But that worked. It wasn't super effective though, so I guess they weren't a type that's weak to water, but... I don't know. 
Oh, oh another one. All right. Will it tell me what what they're weak against? Now that I've beaten one, or does it not work that way? Nope. All right. I'll just do the same thing again. You probably need a more mixed party of you know different types of Pokemon instead of just the same one twice. It's usually a lot more effective. With arms like me racked in sad ways and we're defeated, she says, giggling. Alright. <laughs> yeah, real sad. Oh, hello. It's like a forced battle with a Morgrem. What is a Morgrem? Um, I'm guessing you're similar- oh, you can frisk. So you're, you're similar to Impidim, I'm guessing you're like their the evolution or something. Let's try a Sucker Punch. I, I don't know what type you are. Okay, not very effective. Dark Pulse. Does that mean you're Dark type? Or does it not? Oh, perfect. Torment. Subjected to Torment. I feel like I should have a different animation for that instead of sort of conducting when I get subject subjected to Torment. Hmm. Click. More Grim was caught. Experience Carl grew to level 36. More Grim's data will be added to the Pokedex. With sly cunning, it tries to lure people into the woods. Some believe it has the power to make crops grow. Oh, I mean, you all... all Already almost have a decent name. I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. There you go, Morrigan. <laughs> Goodbye, Morrigan. So, I, I don't know if Frisk actually steals their item or if it's like you just know what item they have or something. Luminous Moss. It boosts special defense if the holder is hit with a water type attack. It can only be used once? That sounds pretty pointless. Like, most held items just work forever and. 1056 U-turn. Oh, cool. I mean, I already have U-turn, but it's cool to be able to teach it to more Pokemon, I guess. It's a nice thing to have. Is there anything on this little ledge here? Doesn't look like it. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Um... Okay, Battle and Lay. So Glimwood Tangle is actually pretty short. It's just I got stuck in that really long battle in the previous video. <laughs> Aw, hello. You're cute. Actually, this town is really pretty. Uh, I, I like it. This is a lot more interesting in design than some of the previous towns. Thank you, Nurse Joy. If you get lost in Glimwood Tangle, it's probably the work of fairy type Pokemon. Glowing mushrooms, mysterious mushrooms, they're all the pranks of fairy type Pokemon. Alright. Oh, it's you again! God, you're so adorable. I was lured into town quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. You were lured here? This doesn't sound good. This town does look really pretty though. Do, 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 do. Hello. Every time I meet Granny Opal, she tells me I should wear more pink. The old bat. Um. Okay. Uh, do, do you just really hate pink? Or, or why do you hate her so much? <laughs> Fuga, fuga, ga, ga, ga. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. All right. Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlipede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I, I wanted to become a Pokemon once. 
you can be one. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, I've made myself feel the way a Pokemon does if you like I became a Pokemon. Don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? D don't you want to change your own clothes to feel like a Pokemon instead of having me change my clothes? This just doesn't, doesn't make sense. Hmm. I, I mean, I guess I can. I want to help out this... I guess they're like trans species or something? Want to be a Pokemon? Good for them. Uh, Rest? Yeah, rest is good. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it, but it's generally good. Just gonna ride my bike around here again, because I jumped off a ledge by accident. There we go. Is there a clothing shop in this town so I can change my clothes? A balm mushroom. A rare mushroom that gives off a nice fragrance. It can be sold at a high price to shops. Alright. Uh, that's the gym. Is there uh, somewhere I can change clothes? No, it doesn't look like it. Do I just have to fly back to somewhere you can change clothes? Because that strikes me as silly. Um, yeah, the way this game is designed le leaves me asking a lot of questions. <laughs> um, let me think, where, where can you change clothes? Uh, I think you can in Motorstoke. Let's just fly back there. I guess they give you fly at the very beginning, so it doesn't really matter if you need to fly somewhere else to change your outfit, but it's still annoying. Um, and I guess I can wear the fire gym's outfit. Uh, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, it's got a little t-shirt. This is the one. Change room. Fire type. Ooh. Uh, ditch the hoodie. Fire type shorts. Fire type leggings. Or, oh, I guess, socks. I thought they'd be longer than that. Shoes, there we go. Uh, bag can say the same. Hat can say the same. Everything I have that says fire, I'm gonna change my glasses to red. There we go. Fire glove. It's just one glove, it's not two gloves. Fire uniform, yeah. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, that looks adorable. I have a fire backpack, do I? Mm, that one probably looks better. The brownish one. Leave. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, I guess we just fly back to pretty mushroom town, which appears to be tiny, actually. I I'm not that impressed if it's that small. It should be bigger. Um... Like, I can see two houses, the gym and a Pokemon Center, and that seems to be the whole place. Which is not impressive. And yeah, there's no nothing else there, just the Pokemon Center and the stadium. Hmm. Like, you, see, you can see this house here, and that house there, and... That's it? Hmm. Anyway, let's go talk to this, uh... Cool person. Hello. I did. I appreciate you encouraging me, but I can't feel like a Pokemon that way. Please, show me some clothes with a fire-type design- I- I- I did? Um... These are all the fire clothes I have. Do I need to buy some more? I mean, I can. I can go back and have a look at the shops again. And see if there's something else. Let's go back to Wedgehurst and see what they've got. I think it's pretty much the same stuff, but mm, I haven't visited there in a while. Like, I'm wearing all these fire-type clothes, do I need more? I don't think I can get more. None of these seem to be fire types. Some of them are red, but they're not like fire. Hmm.
Pretty sure I'm wearing the right clothes already. Hmm. Hello, sheepies. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something in town I need to do? Like, I'm not going to get fire-type outfits from completing the gym because it's, I think, psychic or maybe fairy. It's probably fairy. Hang on. Okay, yeah, I can go in these houses. I was a little concerned. Opal's been gym leader for a long, long time. Oh, you're adorable. Opal's gym stadium is also a small theatre. Finding your way through Glenwood Tangle is a first sight easier if you give the mushrooms a little nudge to light them up. Hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to the person next door, like through the wall? No, there's a big gap between the houses. Hmm. Oh, look at you. Defeated Stowan Side's gym leader, eh? You probably know your way around the TM like this one in that case. TM42 Revenge. This attack move's power is doubled as the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. Having a Pokemon learn moves of different types can be a real help, you know? Cute. Look at those little ears. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make a Pokemon strong without it evolving? Yeah. Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Uh, I didn't expect that. I thought you might give me an Everstone or something. But, yeah, I can fight. Uh, you're bug type, right? You're like a big insect thing? Okay, I'll try Psycho Bunch. Hmm. I've been fooled by Light Screen. Bug Buzz. Time to bite. Um. I don't know if bite is, is special or physical. No idea. Probably physical because it did less damage that time, but I'm not sure. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Solidity? Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is this e e Eviolite. You obtained an Eviolite. What is it? A mysterious evolutionary lump. While held, when held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. Oh, okay. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Eviolite, this that Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. Interesting. Okay, so none of that had anything to do with that guy's, uh, with the, you know, this this person's outfit. So, I have no idea. Uh, can I talk to you? Welcome, Pokemon trainer. Thanks. Pretty sure I spoke to everyone in this town. Hmm. Do I have any Pokemon that can still evolve? I guess my Eevee? Um, let me see. Yeah, I think I should be able to give it to the Eevee. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're maxed out. Oh, you're not, you're not involved either. Hmm. Give it to you because you're lower. There we go. Okay, well, I guess I'm up to the gym now. If I can't figure out what to do with this, this outfit situation. A fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings. Some clothes with a fire type design. Yeah, I'm wearing all this fire type stuff already. Mm, let, let's head back to um, Motorstoke and see if their clothing shop had something that's more fiery than the fiery clothes. I'm really confused. Actually, does Hamlock have a boutique too? Yeah, it does. Let's drop into that one and see what they've got. Or wherever the boutique may be, somewhere in town. Um, map. Which part of town is it in? No idea, the map doesn't tell you. Uh, let's look around, I guess. That's a train station. Can I go into these houses? I can. Okay. Uh, I'll come back to that in a bit. Looking for clothes at the moment. Uh, that's the train station. Oh, I can't go that way. Because uh, Team Yellow blocking it for no reason, because this game is just super linear for no reason. Uh, doesn't look like over there is very helpful. Get him away. Pokemon Center... Okay, it's just over here. Okay, maybe they've got something more fiery than fire-type clothes? I, I don't know. Faded sweatshirts, those are more fiery, right? Oh, tracksuit ja oh, jackets, hello. Uh, yeah, we'll get the fire-type one. Uh, I think I'm, what I'm already wearing there should be okay, but it'd probably be better with this. Not that one, the fire type one. Oh, and these rucksacks are typed as well. Okay, okay, this makes sense. I said to go to the right shop. And then there's hats that go with it. Okay, yep, I'll get the fire one. And glasses, yep, okay. Um. I technically won't be able to see if I'm wearing sunglasses instead of my normal glasses, but, you know, it's a video game, so all good. <laughs> okay, that's got to be right. That's got to be it. I'm, I'm completely fire-typed now. Unless I need to do my hair as well, because it's blue. But, you know, fires can be blue. Actually, blue fires are hotter than red ones, so that's probably better, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I talked to you already. Uh, what's this? Is that... I feel like I've completely become a Pokemon. Wearing a hot, fire-styled outfit can make you feel different. I feel like I've become a fire-type Pokemon. Thanks for cheering me up. It's hardly proper reward, but I hope you like it anyway. Acrobatics is a move that does more damage if the user isn't holding an item. TM78. The user nimbly strikes the target. If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. Interesting. I've been thinking, if a Cramorant swallowed me, and then someone else caught it, would I be able to go inside the Pokeball too? If I did, I'd be the first person in humanity's history to be caught by a Pokeball. Gotcha, a man was caught. They say something like that, right? Basically that means I'd equal a Pokemon, no? Yeah, yeah, definitely no. No, go for it. Seriously. Go for your dreams. <sighs> Not a fan of treating this guy like a weirdo. Like, 
Let him, let him, let him do what he wants, God. <laughs> oh my goodness. He wants to be a Pokemon. Like Bill from the anime, who also wanted to be a Pokemon. And he was nice. <sighs> Actually, Bill was in Gen 1 as well, I think. And he turned into a Pokemon, you had to help him. He said like a teleporter accident or something, but it was no accident. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think that's probably about it for this video. Next time we'll do the gym, but... Oh, hey, Fan Phantump? I think that's Phantump. Maybe it's Ghost type. Balanly Stadium. Uh, we can have a look at the stadium. We, we won't actually do the challenge yet, but we'll see who's outside in the first area. Oh. Oh, Challenger Danielle. Hmm? You got four gym badges already. I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Ooh, rah, rah. Look, even more Peko is, is wary of you. Wait, more Peko, don't tell me you actually like Danielle. Ugh, we've already had a serious battle with her. She's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? You got Marnie's league card, cutie. What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challenges left, you know, so we're meeting in the finals. You got that? She's so Sundere. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's gay. <laughs> hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Spaces Choice guy. Is love in the air, or is it just this Pokeball? Here, try it out and see for yourself. You obtained a love ball. A Pokeball that works best when catching a Pokemon that is of the op opposite gender of your Pokemon. What? Why? That makes no sense. It would... <laughs> Wouldn't it work best if they had the same gender? I... What the hell? A love ball is useful if you want to catch a Pokemon that's the same gender of the one you send out onto the battlefield. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Hmm. Reserve. I've been hearing more and more people talk about you, Challenger Danielle. Thanks. I feel like the quizzes are a bit too much. This is once in a lifetime opportunity, and yet we have to deal with quizzes. Okay, are they quizzes? Have you caught any Yama Yamask in Galar? If you have, would you be interested in trading for the Yamask I caught abroad? Yes, I don't think I've caught one, but yeah, I didn't think I had one. But I am interested. I'll have to keep an eye out for one. Uh, uniform shop? I guess these are the types I'm not going to be fighting in this game, so I get to buy them the, the uniforms for them instead? That's my assumption anyway, because I can't buy the ones I have done. And it's, they're not showing up as bored or anything. What is this what is this about pink? Does it mean the fairy type? Okay, so it's a fairy gym, probably. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Can I talk to you? No. It's weird that you can't get changed here. Like, the change room is supposed to be this door over here, but you can't use it. Except when you go here and they tell you to put it on the uniform for the battle or whatever. Um, what can I buy at the Pokemon? Pokeball, Great Ball, Potion, Hyper, Super Potion, Hyper Potion, Antidote, Burn Heal, Ice Heal, Awakening, Paralyze Heal, Revive, Repel, and Pokedoll. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, I guess I could stock up on Great Balls every now and then, but I'm not too worried. I have so much money. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Next time, we'll actually do the gym challenge. What the hell, ball guy? Disgusting. I detest you. I know you're much taller than me, but I still detest you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, next time, we're gonna head that way and do that. But for now, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!